Okay, boilers. So there's a there's a some some area maybe uh, not lots of boiler and uh, like uh, Saskatchewan is uh, winter time is too cold. So so we don't have lots of boiler in Saskatchewan. But like uh, BC, so lots of boilers. Yeah, because it's a uh, is uh, the boiler is uh, running is uh, more quiet. Yeah, so a boiler is a uh, a closed system in, in which a fluid is heated, but not necessarily uh, to a boiler pond. Uh, in a hydronic heating system, so you will have a heat generating de device, uh, like the burner, right? So it's, it's getting the, the heat from the burner. Yeah, so, and the, and the circulating pipe, like we call the 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 pump water pipe pump yeah so sometimes there's one or sometimes there are two so sometimes it's one only for the supply uh, pipe another is a return pipe is a circulation pipe and uh, some lots of piping so normally the piping is copper yeah so so because the other materials is uh, easy to to rust yeah so the copper is a uh, is a we normally we saw for the boiler system, yeah. So, uh, and the expansion tank. So, uh, so we we see here. So normally for the for the boiler, so we have an expansion tank. So this uh, this normally is just uh, uh, you know the balance the pressure inside. So sometime if the water pressure is too high, yeah. So this. This pressure expansion tank will 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 make the you know the water more water inside and uh, and uh, keep the you know the pressure is uh, is steady yeah so for example if you hear the the noise from the water pipe yeah click or, or some some of the other noise yeah maybe maybe so this uh, expansion tank is a problem so how to check this expansion tank so. Sometimes we, we can knock, yeah, use a, a screwdriver or something like that. We can knock the top and the bottom. So if the, the, the noise is, a, you hear is the same, yeah, so maybe the, you know, the membranes inside is broken. Yeah, so, so maybe all the water inside is, is not the function for the, for the balance, you know. <clears throat> And then another thing, so you should know is uh, the other end of the, you know, the expansion tank. There should be the like the the uh, a small pod. We can we can charge the air or test the air pressure inside. Uh, so for the for the for the boiler, so like uh, we we should have the water or like the you know the water uh, feed in. So uh, normally for the water feed in pipe, uh, we should connect a backflow valve. Yeah, so just in case, so for example, the, the, uh, you know, the outside the building or the city pipe, the water pipe is repair and uh, it will maybe with, it will suction the water from the boiler. Yeah, so that's not allowed. Yeah, but uh, I don't know uh, uh, the residential. So most of the commercial they need the backflow valve. Uh, we call the backflow valve. So in fact, it's a, it's a normally called backflow preventer. Yeah, uh, so like that. And the pressure valve reduce uh, like the pressure regulator or regulator valve or pressure valve. So I cannot see here. Yeah, but, but we saw the zone valve here. We saw the zone valve here. Yeah, so the zone valve, just uh, the boiler is better than the furnace. It's easy to, to control the zone. Like a different room, you can put a di different water loop and use a different zone valve. Yeah, so if we don't need that room, we can, we can, we can easily to turn that room uh, uh, off, you know. Yeah, but the furnace is hard. Yeah, so some new furnace they use the zone valve for the for the every floor, but uh, but it costs lots of money. Yeah, so and the temperature gauge we cannot see here too. 
Yeah, but we saw it, there's a like the the wind uh, damper. You see this wind damper. Yeah, so because normally the the boiler uh, chimney is a big size, like a, like a five inch, six inch. Yeah, so we don't want when the boiler not running, we don't want the the cold air just come down. Yeah, so that's why we use a damper here. So only only when the call for heat, the damper on, so the burner will be on. Yeah, so that's a that's a, a good idea for here. Yeah, so this should be the oh this one should be the pressure control. Yeah, pressure and the temperature control here. Okay, so the boiler is a, it seems like a furnace. We call it the category one, two, three, four. Yeah, but, uh, but like a furnace, we didn't see the category two. Yeah, so category one, yeah, category one is the same definition for the gas code. Yeah, just uh, uh, depend on the, the pressure inside the, you know, the, the, the exhaust pipe. So if it's a negative pressure, so on the flu temperature is over 140 Fahrenheit, that's category one. Yeah, category four, uh, sorry, category three. So this one, in fact, is uh, normally is uh, we saw in the high efficiency or uh, tankless uh, boiler or water heater. Yeah, so this pipe, exhaust pipe should be airtight. Yeah, so, so there's a, normally it's a stainless steel and uh, inside the pipe, there, there will be the gasket. And then we just uh, push together and then seal the pipe. Yeah, so this, uh, this is the, the category three. Yeah, because the uh, exhaust is a, is a positive pressure and uh, the, you know, the temperature is, a, a flow temperature is a lower than 140 Fahrenheit. Yeah, so we can we can see from the exhaust and then can tell. Yeah, but normally the the name plate or dirt plate, data plate will tell is uh, which kind uh, kind of uh, category. This one category four. So this one is a is a is a little high efficiency. Yeah, so uh, I cannot uh, we cannot see the exhaust here. But normally like this kind of uh, uh, boiler or water heater, they should use a, a PVC pipe. Okay. Oh, uh, so for the wind, like a uh, category one, so still is a is a sometimes it's a C wind and then connect to the B wind. Okay, so this uh, this we should know. And like this one, there's a uh, draft wood here too. Okay, so example of a hydronic heating system. So we will see the the boiler here, the boiler here. So we will trace the water running, okay? So from the, the boiler, so the water come out. So and the, go to the the storage tank. Yeah, so so sometimes in fact maybe there's no storage tank. And sometimes they have, yeah. So, so after going the storage tank, so there's a, the the hot water. The hot water will will go to different way. So we will talk to this way first, okay? To the bottom here. So so after after that, so the hot water will go back to the boiler. Yeah. So this is a like a small loop here, and I just keep the water. Uh, hot enough for the system. So we have a circulator pump here, and then we have a, a strainer here. Yeah, so the strainer just uh, need to clean. So maybe every half year or one year sometime. And uh, if you if you do the water treatment, it's good. Yeah, so maybe you don't need to check uh, uh, more often, you know. Yeah, but if, if you never treat the water, yeah, so need to clean. And another way, so for the for the water to go to the every zone, yeah. So like this one, we go to this zone. 
So if if this room need a, need the hot water, need the temperature, yeah, the hot water will go to the the zone valve and uh, hit this area, yeah. So and the cold water from 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 the you know the room area. So there's the the, the other side of the pipe, uh, will will be the cold water and then go to the cold water uh, return, yeah. So the so cold water return, and then sometimes you see there's a there's a circulate pipe too. So and this means so so normally so there's a, will be the two pumps. So one for supply, one for return. Yeah, and sometimes only one. Yeah. So so all the return uh, uh, return water so go to here back to the to the cold side of the boiler and heat it. So and uh, normally we should have the expansion tank. For the boiler system, yeah. So some water heater, like a water heater tank, some area require the expansion tank too, and uh, some area not. Yeah. So that's a that's a whole uh, system of the uh, hydronic heating system. And uh, this one, the heat plate exchanger. So for the commercial, we saw lots of. Uh, Heat changer like this, but normally for the residential, it's a little harder to see. Yeah. So, uh, but the the function is just like that. It separated the uh, you know the the heating water and the uh, the, the heated water or the or the or the some like the the heating side, the water the, the water heating side, and the, another is the water uh, supply side, like uh, like the water tank. So some water tank. So we use for for a little area uh, in floor heating, yeah. So if like that, so that means the inside of the tank, so they have a heat exchanger like this, yeah, like this water heater tank. So normally, normally, so we only have two water pipe on the top. This this produces the hot water to the kitchen to the washroom, yeah. So and. Uh, for example, if we have a water heater can supply some uh, area of uh, in-floor heating, so there will be a uh, two pipes from the side of the the water heater, just like this. You see, so there's a two pipe from the side of the water heater tank. Yeah, so these two is uh, is just running through the you know the heating uh, water side. Yeah, just 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 hit the you know the uh, another side of the water. Yeah, so it's a separate, so not a not a uh, you know uh, mixed together. Yeah, so if, if this heat changer problem, the water mix up together, so that means you need to change the the tank already. Yeah. So like the uh, this system, we saw the the picture before already. Yeah, but here we show the in-floor heating like this. And sometimes it's in-floor heating, sometimes just like the baseball, like, like here. Yeah. So, so that's uh, for the hydronic. Yeah. So the sometimes we just uh, call in-floor heating or, or like that, you know. Here, so there's a more parts or more, more equipment here. Okay, this is a category four boiler. We can see clear. There is a PVC pipe for the venting and uh, two circulation pump. And uh, here, so this one make up tank. So this one, uh, I met some uh, residential house they don't have. Yeah, so if they don't have this one, so maybe they didn't do the, you know, the water treatment. Yeah, so this tank is just uh, for chemical. Yeah, so if we need to do the water treatment, so we just uh, we just pour the chemical inside here and then it will mix with the water inside of the pipe. Yeah, so this one water heater, uh, I cannot see the up there. So just the, maybe the backup water heater, yeah, or storage tank. Yeah, so sometimes this one, is only storage. It cannot produce heat. Just keep the heat water there. Yeah. Sometimes, so they have the heat changer inside. 
and uh, and not only storage, it can produce the heat, the hot water too. Yeah, so that's a little different. And uh, sometimes you see the the boiler, the the category one boiler will will be a uh, like a, a boiler made. Yeah, so the call boiler made is in fact it's just a tank there. 